Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching, please hit the subscribe button down below as well as hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. For today's video, I'm sure you told by the title, is my top Netflix recommendations. Although I'm sure you'll be able to find these series that I'm about to recommend on Showmax um, if you live in South Africa or Amazon Prime if that is the correct name um, but yes this is also no way shape or form saying that these are the absolute best series that you can ever watch it's just according to what I can remember what I've really enjoyed as well as according to my taste in um, series which kind of follows the lines of thriller mystery comedy history and um yeah i would say it follows oh and comedy i don't know if i said comedy but those are like my top genres i really really hope that this actually gives you some ideas of what you can watch because let's be honest in quarantine our best friend has been your laptop or your ipad or your tv or wherever else you watch your um your series so i really hope that this proves um helpful as well as opens your eyes to maybe some series that you may not have heard so without further ado let's get started for the first show that i'm going to recommend is my favorite show of all time and that is Grey's anatomy i absolutely love this show i started watching it when it originally came out although i was five years old oh, it's going on my head. i was originally five years old so i obviously did not understand most of the things that happened um, but then I started re-watching it last year and I finished all 15 seasons in two months. Where the time went, I honestly don't know. Two months might not be a lot to you guys. Maybe you guys can binge watch it more than I did. But if you know me, I hate binge watching shows. I just feel, one, it fries your brain. <laughs> and two, that it's a waste of time. You'd rather just spread it out and be more productive in the day. But with this show, I absolutely could not get enough of it. If you really don't know what it is about, I'll give a short summary. It's about this, it's a medical drama, first of all. And it just follows the both the professional and the personal lives and how they kind of intertwine of different doctors at... A hospital in Seattle has everything you can think of it has mystery in terms of oh what medical illness does this person have what did it what it was caused by um, it sometimes has comedy sometimes has drama since it does talk a lot about their personal lives second series um, is 13 reasons why this show really hit my heart when I watched it because of how real and raw the emotions felt um, if you are someone dealing with um, mental health issues or have been unfortunately um, exposed to gender-based violence or uh, gun violence, please do not watch the show as it definitely can prove a trigger for you and I'm pretty sure that there's a trigger warning before each episode. But if you are not, I think it's a great way both to um, enjoy a show as well as really open your eyes to what goes through a person's mind when they go through the three things that I've just mentioned. If you don't know what it's about, it originally starts off as a narrative of 13 reasons why um, one of the girls, the main character in season one and two, why she... Um, unfortunately took her own life there are four seasons season one and two as i said before is focused on what led her to take that step but season three and four kind of branch out into their own stories i absolutely recommend the show very heartwarming and eye-opening as well. third show is one of my favorite comedy um series ever and that is fresh prince of ballet i'm a very big fan of will smith um i've watched most of his movies and this is actually how i actually got introduced to him as an actor if you don't know what it's about it's about this boy that kind of comes from a, a very violent area or not safe area in philadelphia as well as he's quite undisciplined so his mom kind of sends him to beverly hills to live with his aunt and uncle and their family 
and it just shows how he is kind of influenced by them and how he kind of also influences them and what his life is like kind of changing from such a different life that he was living back in Philadelphia to now living in this um, high class area as well as that it's very good at showing social issues pertaining to racism and I feel that's quite um what's the word relevant to things nowadays Other thing is probably the only science fiction series that I've actually enjoyed and that is Stranger Things for me to say that I've enjoyed a sci-fi series means that you definitely have to have to watch it because if I can love it I'm sure if you're a science fiction person you will adore it a lot more than I did even though my love for the show is quite high I actually um, only watched it at the beginning of this year after tons of persuasion from my friends um, in high school. Before I graduated, people were telling me to watch it, but um, they said I have to watch it. My sister did. My dad did as well. Extremely, extremely good show. Basically, it tells the story of these, I'm pretty sure it's four kids. Honestly, I can't remember how many kids there were because I watched it at the beginning of the year and I've watched so many things since then but it tells a story about this group of friends one of which has telepathic abilities and it kind of has these paranormal things that happens to this so-called small and conservative town and how does the town actually deal with all these paranormal activities that are happening as well as how the children kind of help solve whatever is going on the next show that i definitely definitely recommend is bones um i haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it but it is such a good series it stars emily dachanel and david Boronias. don't come at me if that was pronounced wrong but it basically tells the story of an fbi agent and a forensic anthropologist as well as their other colleagues how they kind of solve um, crimes. The other thing is that they also kind of show their personal life. Um, I think it's a very, very good series because I, obviously like it is written, but it's just so great like how they kind of figure everything out just from bones and stuff. And that is what a forensic anthropologist is. I mean, maybe there are inaccuracies with the show, but the storylines that they come up with is something out of this world. Like you have to, like, actually, when was it? I think yesterday or the day before, my mom and my sister and I were like just watching one or two episodes of it. And we were just thinking, how do writers think about these stories? It's so, so amazing how they think of every single little detail. And with this show, I feel it's especially um big because they don't really have anything else to go off of except these people's bones and that's how they go on to solve the crime or the mystery and uh that's quite a thrilling aspect of the show and i think that's probably why i love it so much the next show that i really do recommend is outer banks i actually started the series i think on saturday last week and i finished it by the sunday the following no, by Sunday the next day. I don't know why I was going to say the following week. But it basically tells the story again of this group of four or five friends that go on this treasure hunt um, to kind of fulfill the research and journey that one of the friends' fathers had originally set out to do. But unfortunately, he was lost at sea. And while trying to find this treasure so many secrets of the little town that they live in is kind of exposed um and just the series is excellent in kind of keeping the audience's attention always grappled i mean as soon as you think you know what's going on another curveball kind of hits you and you're like oh well i did not see that coming so it keeps you on your toes and there's sometimes comedy very big mystery obviously and it's kind of a thriller as well since you never know what's going to happen in the following this show is blood and water and this i think is honestly one of the best series or even movies i would say that came out of south africa it is written produced filmed and stars all people that are south african i'm pretty sure 
and it is um i'm pretty sure it's available in america on netflix as well but i'm not 100 percent sure but it basically tells the story of this girl who kind of goes on a quest to find her sister her sister was kidnapped when she was a baby and still at the hospital and it kind of shows just the journey of how does she go about finding the sister and how does she deal with it in her personal life as the well. The next recommendation, I'm sure you've seen a lot of memes surrounding the show, but it is called You. And it basically tells the story of this guy that actually has obsessive stalker-like um, personalities when he enters a relationship with someone. I don't know how much more I can describe it because obviously I don't want to ruin it for you. But basically it is a very, very um, nail-biting thriller. Which if you uh, like things that are about, not like about stalkers, but if you like seeing how their mind works, um, I think it's a really good show to watch because it's told from his next show is Sex Education. Now, it's a bit awkward to talk about because currently I'm pretty sure most of the people that watch my videos is my family. Not that I have a problem talking about it, it's just how it is. But basically, it tells the story of this boy who's the son of a sex therapist who actually starts running his own sex therapy kind of sessions at school. Kind of from whatever his mom has told him as well as what he... Um, is told by other people and then he gets information from his mom to give it to the people that originally asked the question and he runs this business with one of his friends um, named Maeve and basically it is both a comedy show as well as really eye-opening to some of the issues and it's highly relatable because I'm pretty sure most of the things that the series talks about is things that teenagers think about or have questions about so I highly, highly recommend that. So is Politician. It stars the guy from Pitch Perfect, not Skylar Aston, the, the one that acted as Benji. I'm extremely bad with names, so please forgive me for referring to him as just the guy from Pitch Perfect. Um, but he basically acts as a person that is obsessed with becoming the president of the united states but obviously there's so many steps that he has to take before that so the first says the first says the first says the first season is about him campaigning to be the school student body president and the second season is about him running for mayor in New York. And it basically shows his relationship with his voters, as well as his campaign managers, as well as um, inner turmoils that he has when kind of making decisions to better his chances of winning. Next show is Never Have I Ever. This was, I think, just an extremely good show in terms of one how it was written it was written by mindy carling which i'm a very big who i'm a very big fan of sorry and um it was just great to see someone that is south indian being represented on tv growing up i did not have a lot of that except like in bollywood shows uh, i mean not bollywood shows in bollywood movies um and the hollywood movies that were made about indian people were always about arranged marriages or like Bollywood dancing quite over the top whereas this show kind of just made the person have a balance between both their Tamil side as well as living in America and kind of growing up and experiencing every single issue that every other teenager does and I highly um, related to the show because that's kind of how I feel I mean I don't live in America but there's always been two sides to my personality and that is my Indian side and things like that as well as being someone that is South African and doesn't um, really uh, come from India, India per se. I mean obviously my ancestors did but I have normal issues that every other South African teenager kind of faces. So it was a perfect balance 
from that it had every it had a lot of things it was more of a comedic side but it did show how um dealing with grief can kind of um take place uh and kind of the strains on relationships that it can have as well as um it did obviously show the indian um community side of it and did have clichés such as arranged marriage marriages and you know colorful clothes and good food and uh having families that's kind of always um there for you and always wanting to give you advice even sometimes if you don't ask it but i just think it was an extremely well written show that really showcased to people that were underrepresented underrepresented in um hollywood the last show that i'm going to talk about is dynasty and this is a show starring elizabeth gillies who's from victorious which i'm sure a lot of us if you're my age was part of your childhood and watching nickelodeon but it basically tells the story of this extremely rich family living in atlanta georgia and basically how their dra their drama their family drama unfolds and how it affects this wealth and how the wealth kind of affects their personal relationships it's jam packed full of drama between both the family members as well as um their friends or outside sources extremely good show please let me know if any of these recommendations actually helped you i hope that i explained them enough to convince you to at least watch one or just to check out one all these shows really do um both have a balance between entertaining you as well as i being eye opening and educating you on certain topics which i feel is very important a lot of people these days watch series um that aren't really helping you in any way which is completely fine but for me i always feel that whatever you're doing needs to add some kind of nutrition into your life so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave comments or other recommendations you have for me that you think i should definitely check out if you would like me to make a movie version of this or another series um one if you'd like please let me also know that in the comments down below but thank you so much for watching this video really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you have a week filled with lots of love happiness light and positivity love you guys bye to whisper